Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Today we're going to be covering how to use the correlation and covariance functions. Uh, so let's go ahead and connect ourselves to some data here. Uh, what we are going to connect to today is uh, this data set that looks at the toughest sport by skill. So we basically have a list of skills, um, all go here like that, and then we have a list of sports. Um, so it's really just uh, ranking each of these sports by how difficult they are across all of these different areas. And then, of course, we have a total. Um, so what we could do with a data set like this is we could take a look at each of these attributes and determine what the covariance is between uh, these two, uh, between each of these items and the total. So uh, covariance just tells us how related two items are. So when one goes up, does the other one uh, go up? Um, and we could do that now in Tableau. It's a relatively new function. What we do is called covariance. And we just do covariance. Uh, and then we want to drag two columns across. So covariance is computed uh, pairwise. So it's going to compute between each pair of these numbers. Um, so let's go ahead and pick. So we'll just uh, add agility in there. There we go. Whoops. And put it outside the parentheses. So we'll put agility in there. And then we'll put the total on this side. So this tells us the uh, covariance between agility and the total. Now covariance in this case, right, is 19.25. So let's go ahead and we're just going to edit this and give it a name. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, compute a second one here. Let me just pull a second one up. I'll be right back. All right, so let's pull that up and then go ahead and we'll drag that in there. All right, so now you can see that we have uh, two pretty similar numbers for these. The problem is that uh, the covariance agility and covariance doability, this scale of 19, uh, doesn't necessarily tell us a whole amount. We know that it's positive because positive, uh, it means that uh, when one goes up, the other one tends to go up. Negative would mean that when one goes up, the other one tends to go down. The problem is because this scale doesn't account for the variance in um, agility and in total, we don't really know what the 19 means. We don't know whether that's a strong correlation um, if they were identical, would that go to a, uh, would it go to 30? Would it go to 100? Would it go to 1,000? We don't really know. So we have another function, the correlation function, which does the same thing, but the correlation function is going to be bounded between 0 and 1. We calculate it in Tableau almost exactly the same way as we do the covariance function. So we do the correlation of agility with the total. And in this case, we will then say agility total. Go ahead and apply that and then just drag it up again into our list here. Now you'll see that uh, in this case, we have a 0.82 for our correlation. Uh, so 19.25 is equal to a correlation of 0.82 when you take into account the variance of, uh, of each of these two things. This is comparable across uh, different metrics. So if we computed the correlation for all of these metrics, uh, we could compare them to see which was the, uh, the strongest predictor. Uh, covariance is not comparable, but it is also useful. It tells you how closely related two things are. Actually, the covariance is part of the uh, function to get the correlation. Um, so why don't we go ahead and just uh, for fun, we'll go ahead and compute the uh, correlation for uh, durability in total here. There you go. So now you can see that uh, the covariance is slightly higher. The correlation is also slightly higher. Um, so Again, same story we're being told by these two metrics, but the 0.82 and the 0.85 are directly comparable, whereas the 19.25 uh, and the 19.56 aren't. Um, this is an interesting function you might want to use in your dashboards to understand how uh, how closely two KPIs move in tandem with one another or how closely two other metrics move in tandem with one another. Uh, that, so that does it for this episode of Tableau in two minutes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. There is a link to the workbook and the data set in the video description. Uh, and uh, if you like what you hear and if you'd like more Tableau tips and tricks, then please subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.